So we are going to prove the multiplication rule for the Legendre symbol. Remember that the Legendre symbol x on p gives us 1 if x is a quadratic residue mod p, and negative 1 if it's a non-residue. This proof is going to use indices relative to primitive roots. So if you aren't familiar with that idea, I've left a link in the description. You can check that out. What we're going to do is consider the following expression. Negative 1 to the power of the log base g of x. So this is the index of x relative to the primitive root g. We know that quadratic residues always have even index. What that means is that if x is a quadratic residue, then the index of x is going to be even. So negative 1 to an even power, that's going to give us 1. On the other hand, non-residues will have an odd index, which means that if x is a non-residue, we're going to have negative 1 to an odd power, which is negative 1. Notice this, negative 1 to the power of the log base g of x, that's equal to x on p. Both of these are 1 if x is a quadratic residue, and negative 1 if x is a non-residue. Now from here, we're going to look at the following expression. What's the Legendre symbol ab on p? So we're multiplying two numbers up here. We want to see if it's a quadratic residue. Well, we can rewrite it using this equation that we have right here. This is equal to negative 1 to the power of log base g of a times b. But we know by rules of indices we can split up the top here. So we have negative 1 to the power of log base g of a plus log base g of b. And from here, by the rules of exponents, we can split this up into product negative 1 to the log base g of a times negative 1 to the log base g of b. But what we just showed earlier is that each of these gives us the equation for the Legendre symbol. So this left one right here is the Legendre symbol of A on P, and this right one is B on P. And just like that, we've proved that the Legendre symbol A times B on P is equal to A on P times B on P. And this is true for any numbers A and B. The way that we did that was by realizing that the Legendre symbol is related to negative 1 to the power of the index of that number mod p. And that's because quadratic residues always have an even index, which means we get 1, since negative 1 to an even power will give us 1. By using that fact and the fact that we can split up the index of a product, we're able to get to our final result that a b on p equals a on p times b on p.